Hyperbilirubinemia is a condition in which there is too much bilirubin in the blood. When red blood cells break down, a substance called bilirubin is formed. Babies are not easily able to get rid of the bilirubin and it can build up in the blood and tissue of the baby's body. This is called hyperbilirubinemia. Because bilirubin has a pigment or coloring, it causes a yellowing of the baby's skin and tissue. That is called jaundice. Depending on the cause of the hyperbilirubinemia, jaundice may appear at birth or at any time afterward. About 60% of newborns and 80% of premature babies develop jaundice. Infants of diabetic mothers and of mothers with RH disease are more likely to develop hyperbilirubinemia and jaundice. Although low levels of bilirubin are not usually a concern, large amounts can circulate to tissue in the brain and may cause seizure and brain damage. This condition is called kernicterus. If there is a newborn with jaundice, the baby's body will take care of it within the first two weeks. But if it's not better within two or three weeks, then there are ways to treat it and cure it. One way is phototherapy. Phototherapy is a treatment with a special light that helps rid the body of bilirubin by altering it or making it easier for the liver to get rid of. Another condition that the baby can develop after getting RH disease is anemia. Anemia is a disorder in which there are too few red blood cells in the blood. Normally, the newborn's bone marrow does not produce new red blood cells between birth and or three or four weeks of age. Any process that leads to red blood cell destruction, if sufficiently severe, will result in anemia and high levels of bilirubin. Hemolytic disease of the newborn may cause the newborn's red blood cells to be destroyed rapidly. Very severe anemia caused by hemolytic disease is treated with an exchange blood transfusion in which part of the newborn's blood is gradually removed and replaced with equal volume of fresh donor blood. The exchange transfusion also will remove bilirubin in the circulation and thus treats the hyperbilirubinemia.